Hmm, wonder if that goes, no, no. Oh, hey you guys, uh, good morning, I didn't know you were there. I've been working on this model car, trying to put the pieces together. But you know what? I don't have any instructions. In fact, I'm not even sure if I have all the pieces. I'm trying to build uh, this 69 Cougar Eliminator. It's one of my dream cars. I'll probably never own the real thing because it costs way too much money. So I thought I'd put together a model. But you know what? It is really hard to put together a model when you don't have the instructions. And it's impossible when you don't have all the pieces. Today we're looking at, again at the story of a guy named Nehemiah. And he wanted to build the wall around Jerusalem. Remember I, I showed you the wall last week or what it might have looked like. It looked something like this. Well, I want to tell you, Nehemiah had a plan. And he made sure he had all the pieces. He knew he was going to need some help from the king. And so he asked the king for help. He knew he would need some large stones. He also knew that he was going to need some really big timbers uh, to build the gates and some other parts of the wall. I'm guessing that maybe he even uh, had some instructions written up on how to build this wall. You know what? It's important to have a plan before we build anything. Fortunately for me, uh, I have a nephew who's really good at models and and he had a model kit with all the instructions and all the pieces. So one year for Christmas, uh, he completed this model of a 69 Cougar Eliminator uh, just for me. Wasn't that great of him? You see, my nephew had a plan. And you know, quite a few people say they want to follow Jesus, but they never have a plan for following Jesus. So they don't follow him very well. What do you think would be a good plan for following Jesus? Well, let me just give you just a few simple ideas. One way to follow Jesus is to come to church with your family or worship with your family at home like some of you are doing right now. Of course, another plan for following Jesus is to read the Bible because it gives us all kinds of instructions on how to best follow Jesus. You should also pray and ask Jesus to, to give you wisdom and show you how to follow him and, and give you strength to do so. And you know what? A really good plan for following Jesus is to take some time every day to love God and to love people. You know, being a follower of Jesus takes a little work, but it's worth it. Let's pray together. Lord, make us your follower. Lord, help us to do the work to follow you. Lord, I pray that we'll follow your instructions in the Bible. I pray also that we'll pray to you and trust you. And Lord, I pray most of all that we'll have a plan every day to love you and to love people. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, you guys have a great week. Uh, I hope you enjoy uh, some extra time with your family on Labor Day. Maybe with some extra time, I'll finally finish this model. <laughs> Bye, you guys. Take care.